review video for chemistry 12 predicting the sponta spontaneity of a reaction from the voltage e naught of a redox reaction using a table in standard state first a reminder that standard state is 25 degrees celsius 1.0 molar concentration 101.3 kilopascals elements in normal phase if you forget some of that uh, your table of standard states has a lot of that up at t the, the top. Standard reduction potentials of half cells, ion concentrations are in one molar in water at 25 degrees Celsius. A couple of hints, uh, reactions to watch out for, 2H plus plus two electrons going to hydrogen gas uh, in acidic solution, that is a possibility. In neutral solutions, there's uh, reactions like this one in which um, water can actually react producing uh, hydrogen gas. Uh, always watch out for the reactions including water. Uh, if they are a stronger oxidizing or reducing agent then that could definitely happen and you'd end up producing hydrogen gas or the other reaction which is oxygen gas on uh, which you'll see on the table. As well sometimes they'll confuse you by talking about the surface area of the electrodes. Uh, the surface area has no effect on the voltage of, a, of the cell potential. Um, the surface area um, doesn't affect because the voltage is the potential energy. It would be like you're about to drop up, uh, jump off of a cliff, and you're talking about how wide or how narrow the cliff is. It's not how wide or narrow the cliff is, it's how high off the ground that you're worried about, and that is your potential energy. Okay, the four sample questions. Um, assume all reactions in standard conditions, as we just said. Predict what reactions will occur using your table uh, for the four uh, possible uh, types of electrochemical cells. So a chromium plus three, an aluminum cell for the first one, a, um, a fluorine gas chloride cell. Uh, assume for the fluoride gas it's being bubbled through the solution near an electrode. Uh, three uh, potassium plus one gold electron, and then for four under acidic conditions, uh, tin plus two and cesium electrochemical cell. Predict the cell voltages, pre um, predict the reactions, uh, pause this, do all four questions, and then start it again uh, to see the answers. Okay, for the chromium aluminum, you'll need your data table. Uh, chromium aluminum aluminum is okay uh, chromium and aluminum you'll find on the table here and here this is definitely a spontaneous reaction. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything that could uh, possibly interfere with the reaction. Uh, we do have this reaction here with the 2H2O. Let's just double check that. And on our table, um, if we look at the side, you see uh, the weak uh, oxidizing agents are at the bottom. And so H2 is actually weaker than chromium, and so it will not occur. Um, usually, just a rule of thumb, you want these to be as far as part as possible. Uh, so that means the cell voltage will be minus 0 0.41 minus negative 1.66, which would equal 1.25 volts. Our second reaction, uh, fluorine gas and chloride. That is probably going to be at the top of our table. Fluorine gas is here. And chloride is there. However, this is where we have to worry. As we can see, on the right-hand side of the table, the strength of the reducing agent increases as you go down. Remember, we want these as wide as possible. So instead of fluoride and chloride, we have another species in the system. We have water. So it'll actually be fluoride and water. Don't worry about the overpotential effect in this course. We don't consider it. So fluoride is uh, plus 2.87 
minus 0 0.82 for the water reaction. You would actually get fluoride being created at one electrode and oxygen gas at the other electrode. So 2.07. Minus 0 0.82, 2 2.05 volts. Okay, 3, K plus 1 and gold. Back to here, K plus 1 and gold. Well, here's gold. And where's K plus 1? K plus 1 in gold. K is down here. And gold is all the way up to here. However, we want the stronger uh, agents again as well. And this is also heavily uphill. This is simply non-spontaneous. And so with uh, K plus and AU, K plus... And AU, AU, being all the way here on the upper right, a very, very weak agent. And K plus being all the way down here, negative 2.93, negative 2.93 minus uh, 1.5. That's going to be a negative cell voltage. So this reaction is non-spontaneous will not happen. Uh, tin plus 2 and cesium, which is acidic. Uh, tin plus 2 and cesium. So I'm finding cesium. Copy and paste the table here just to make it a little easier to work with. Uh, we had uh, cesium and 10 plus 2. So now we have cesium. And now we're looking for 10 plus 2. That is definitely a spontaneous downhill reaction. Are there any side reactions that can happen? Um, well, we want these further apart. We do have a stronger agent, however, right here because it said it was in acidic conditions. So this reaction will not occur, and this reaction will occur. So 0 minus negative 3.03. 0 minus negative 3.03. .03. This cell will have a voltage of 3.03 .03 volts. And one electrode uh, will create hydrogen gas, and another electrode will can um, create cesium plus one ions. This is the end of the review for uh, predicting spontaneity of reactions and predicting your reactions for a review of electrochemical cells for May 24th.